Worf. Why are you considered an outcast among Klingons? I sided with the Federation during the invasion of Cardassia. For that, Chancellor Galron stripped me of my name and my family honor. So you acted out of conscience and you were punished for it. How do you feel about that? Angry? Bitter? I am angry about the treatment I have received. I felt it was unjust. Of course you are. Who wouldn't be? What happened affected your entire family. The House of Moog was brought down. Your brother was ejected from the High Council in disgrace. Your land seized. And now your son, Alexander, has to bear the stigma of being the son of a traitor. Did I miss anything? No. In your opinion, what do they think of you in the Empire Wharf? I am hated. Why? Because of what you did? Yes. Are you sure it's not something more basic? What is that supposed to mean? Isn't it obvious? You were raised by humans on Earth. And now you wear their uniform. Haven't you really always been a traitor in your heart? No. Are you telling us that you live with humans, but your heart is Klingon? Yes. But if your heart is Klingon, how could you fire upon your own people? They fired the first shot. And when that happened, they became my enemies. Then why aren't you glad you destroyed that transport? It was filled with your enemies and their children. There is nothing honorable about killing those who cannot defend themselves. Are you telling me that you would never attack a defenseless opponent? No, I would not. Maybe I was wrong about you. Maybe you aren't really Klingon in your heart. A true Klingon rejoices at the death of his enemies. Old, young, armed, unarmed. All that matters is the victory. Tell me, Worf, did you weep for those children? I grieve for them. Grieve for them? A Klingon does not grieve. They died in glorious battle. They are with the honored dead in Stovokor. They do not want your grief. You dishonor their memories. Objection! Advocate? You will say anything. You have no honor. I say this. You live with humans because you're afraid to live with Klingons. I fear nothing. And if you would like to pick up a batleth and face me with weapons instead of words, I will prove it to you. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Worf? You love to prove that you are as strong and courageous as any Klingon warrior. I am a Klingon warrior. Advocate, you are stepping well beyond the bounds of protocol. And that is why you told the Ferengi you hope the Klingons do come for you. You wanted to prove yourself in the eyes of the only people that matter to you, other Klingons! This will stop, or I will hold both of you in contempt. I apologize, Worf. Actually, I pity you. But the person I pity most is Alexander. Because one day, he will come to you and ask, Father, who am I? And you will have to tell him that he is the son of a small, frightened man who destroyed a ship full of children just to prove his own courage. What? No! I thought you told me you'd never attack an unarmed man. Perhaps you should have said, not unless I get angry. Not unless I have something to prove. I rest my case.